Hi, welcome to my Northnick corner. My name is Anne and I come to you from the south of Norway. Welcome if you are here for the first time and welcome if you are a returning viewer. This is my little corner of YouTube where I talk about knitting. So if that's something you are interested in, then I hope that you have some time to sit down, find your crafting, your crocheting or knitting or sewing, find something good to drink. Uh, I already drank my Advent tea, so I needed to make myself something more. <laughs> so instead of tea, I have now hot chocolate and I even treated myself to some marshmallows. It is, of course, the third Sunday of Advent, so we need something, something cozy. Uh, and when I went upstairs to make myself uh, something more to drink, I saw outside and it is snowing. This morning when I looked outside, there was no snow. It was very cold, but um, just a nice cold day, but no snow. And now there is snow. Yes. So it gives the right Christmas um, mood and hot chocolate and marshmallows. Mm. All the cozy stuff. <laughs> so I hope that you have some time to spend with me now while I talk about what I've been knitting on since last Sunday. You can find me on Instagram as my North Nick Corner and I am on Ravelry as Stricke Kroken Pod and I have a group for this podcast there called my North Knit Corner Podcast. I also will have timestamps below on this episode and everything I talk about I will uh, put uh, links and information in the description box below and if you can't find what you're looking for uh, there please uh, don't hesitate to contact me on Instagram and I will answer you as best I can. So I just realized that uh, one of my candles are not burning and that's not okay. <laughs> it's the third Sunday of Advent. We need three candles. So let's see if we can uh, fix that. There, that's better. <laughs> uh, let's start with what I'm wearing. I am wearing um, Golden Fern sweater by um, Jennifer Steingoss, Knit Love Wool on Instagram. I knitted this uh, right before December last year um, and um, yeah, I knitted the size 3 in uh, Spötegon. Spötegon is a Norwegian hand dyer uh, and it's in uh, a green color uh, with uh, glitter. And the red is uh, fingering sock yarn uh, without glitter. So I can stand up and show you. I really like this uh, color work and on the arms. I really like these stripes. Yeah, so that is what I'm wearing today. I am uh, really happy with it. Um, yeah, I only use it for Christmas or in December <laughs> because it's uh, like a Christmas tree with uh, sparkles and uh. <laughs> so. But that was my uh, intention. Uh, I am happy with it, but uh, I'm not so good at color work as uh, most of you know so um, I did uh, not do my floats very well so it's a bit tight and I can see it if you you can see that it's a little bit uh, tighter down here than here so it's like goes in and out <laughs> but that's okay I don't mind I'm happy with it anyway. Uh, so 
it uh, the color work looks even and nice even though it's a little bit uh, yeah, tight down here but that's okay I'm happy with it <laughs> Since last Sunday I have finished two things. The first one is the hipster hat by Petit Knit. I've knitted in uh, Spetagon, glitter, glitter merino again, <laughs> sparkle it is. I can try it on. I think it looks nice. Um, it's a Christmas gift, so I hope the person that gets it uh, loves to sparkle as well. <laughs> I think it's nice for um, for winter to have some glitter and yeah. And I think this uh, colorway is really nice. I knit it together with a strand of Trops Flora in the color white uh, on needle three and a half. Uh, I still it's it's um, it weighs uh, 84 grams and I have like 50 grams left of the um, glitter merino so I can knit myself one more hat or I don't know maybe I should have one myself uh, I don't know what to say other than it's a great pattern uh, fast and easy knit um, yeah I'm sure many of you already have knitted this uh, hipster hat but uh, yeah hope the person who gets it will be happy uh, I want to make more and the next uh, finished uh, object I have is um, some um, your Butis. Uh, it's a design from your clothing. Um, the pattern is available at their website that I will link below and it's also in English. I can really recommend it. Here are mine. Uh, it's at the size 41-42. Uh, it's knitted in Dale Alpaca Magic. Uh, that's 63% uh, alpaca and 37% 30 polyamide. Uh, it's really soft. Oh, it's really nice. Uh, the color is 301 uh, gray. I knitted on needle 4 millimeters. Yeah. And I will show you because it has. nice in front here let me see if I can show you it's not so easy to show it but uh, it's and you you fold the ribbing so it's like a, a beauty yes it's really nice uh, it was a lot of fun to knit a uh, really fun construction the only thing I don't love is that you have to sew uh, together under the foot uh, and I was a bit afraid that you would feel like the seam under the foot uh, and that's not nice but there's an instruction video following the pattern on how to do it and I follow, follow that and um, I can't feel anything in, in uh, no seam at, at all. So uh, that's great. It's really boring to sew. I don't like it. So that's the only thing that's not so fun. But uh, other than that, I really recommend the uh, pattern and they are so soft. I've seen many Norwegian podcasters have knitted this uh, your booties. So I have been wanting to knit them for a long time. Uh, so I bought 
uh, yarn for four pairs. Uh, so I uh, I have a few more to knit of this uh, and I really want to give them away for Christmas but they were really fast to knit. It says that you need 150 grams of yarn for um, of the Dala Alpaca Magic for um, size 41 and 42 but I only used a little over under two balls of yarn. So I have one whole ball left and I have yarn for more so I think I can um, make even a fifth pair of these with the leftovers. And my gauge was right so it's not that that is uh, wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it used less yarn but that's okay. So someone will get this, probably my husband will have this for Christmas. So I have a few whips. I am in like a cast on mood. I want to cast on all the things. Um, yeah. So it's one one cast on you've seen or one whip you have seen before and the rest on you. And so the one I showed you last time was the Ranunculus and uh, designed by Midori Hirose. It was yeah. <laughs> it's knitted in uh, Garnfena yarn uh, which is um sock yarn fingering Uh, and together with the um, uh, tin silk mohair. This is called Ola and this is dark sky blue and the number is 6042. Uh, I have knitted a little bit on it. I have split for arms. Uh, and uh, now it's just knit 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 and on six millimeter needles it goes fast but as I said I've cast on a lot of other things so <laughs> here it is oh I think the color is so beautiful and this yoke oh wow I love it I last time I showed you I was here and now I'm here so I really want this finished so I can use it for Christmas so I just have to knit on and it, it will only take some hours to get the body done because it's thick needles and it goes fast so I just have to decide to do that one one day so I can be done and I want uh, three like uh, sleeves not all the way down, but here. What's it called again? Three quarters sleeves, something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, so not um, too long of a sleeve. And so that will go. That will go fast. I just have to do it. Uh, but then I cast on uh, like there's a, a mystery knit in December. There are many mystery knits in December. Um, some shawls and mittens but I decided to join a mystery knit along that's on Instagram. It's on a hat and uh, the lady who has designed, this, designed it is called Handmade, Handmade by Mona on Instagram. And the hat is called Calendar Lua 2022, Calendar Hat 2022. <laughs> and you get like four rows a day and she puts out a picture of the four rows and you knit each day. So that's uh, easy and uh, not, not too much knitting, so it's easy to follow. Um, 
I am knitting in Roma Fienul. Uh, it's 100% Norwegian wool and it's one of my favorites. It's so um, oh, soft and it is like rustic, but uh, yeah, it feel, it's not itchy. It's really nice and soft and it's so forgiving when you're doing color work. So these are leftovers from a sweater that I knitted last year, I think, called Overwintering. And I had leftovers, so I used uh, the light grey, uh, it's 403, and dark green, which is uh, 2186. And uh, you are supposed to use the dark green as a main, no, no, not the dark green, but the darkest color as your uh, main color and the light one in the color work, but I had only an, a little bit under one ball of the green, the dark one, and I had one and a half maybe of the light, so I I thought maybe the color work will take less yarn, so I didn't take the chance and I, I didn't want to buy new yarn I wanted to use for my stash. So I've been a bit crazy and I have taken the light color as the main color. But it's my knitting. I can do whatever I want. And I think it looks good. So this is how far I have come. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh. So I think this will be a nice Christmas hat. Ooh, what's going on here? Yeah, so I am uh, knitting four rows every day. She puts out uh, a picture with four rows every morning. So that's fun to join. Uh, and then I am knitting on a sweater for my oldest boy. Um, he wanted a Basque sweater. It's a design by a knit story. It's only in Norwegian, sorry to say. My husband has a Bask sweater, which I knitted for him a few years ago. And my son, he keeps taking that sweater. Yeah, because he loves it. <laughs> but uh, he can have, I can knit him uh, one. So his dad can have his own sweater. I'm knitting in uh, this yarn, which is from a knit story. Ooh. I have to hide. <laughs> and uh, it's the color light gray, and the yarn is called Feel Good Chubby. It's 100% eco highland wool, and it's so soft and squishy. Oh, it's really nice to knit with, and it's nice to wear. Uh, and I haven't come so far because it's knitted from the bottom up and that's not something that I love. <laughs> so it's only the ribbing at the bottom of the body. Um, I think it's a really nice sweater and I like to knit it but I prefer top down. I prefer to start with few stitches and then uh, increase to more. And now it's just when you start at the bottom and there's uh, so many stitches and it goes so slow. I feel like I've knitted these few centimeters like I've used hours. That's how I feel. And I feel I'm knitting and knitting and it's just not getting any bigger. But it is uh, four and a half millimeters and five millimeter needles. So it's not, uh, it's not small needles. So I just have to, I think also it's not something that I really want to knit on. 
so it feels like it goes really slow but I, I want to knit this sweater for him but it's just not so much fun it, it's other things that I really want to knit on but then I want to I really want to give it for, to him for Christmas I realize that Christmas is just in a few weeks so he might get a sweater with the needles in but that's not a problem uh, yeah and as I said I want to cast on all the things so yesterday pretty late like nine o'clock or something last night I found out I want to cast on some socks I have a pattern in my um, Ravelry that, um, that I've had for uh, a month with some Christmas socks that I really want to knit for myself. Uh, and it's the, I have to read this because I'm not going to say it right. Kushiyula. Finnish. And I don't know how to pronounce it. Kushiyula. <laughs> it's a design by, by Anina Yuti. Uh, yeah. And uh, she has a lovely podcast, which I'm sure you're already watching. But if you're not, I, I will link her podcast below. So I want to knit her beautiful Christmas socks. And um, I went in my stash and I find found a lot of leftovers so you will recognize some of these colors uh, here <laughs> it's from this sweater when it's in a mess uh, and this is from Spötegon glitter merino and I also have the red from this sweater, which is also from Spötegarn. And I have uh, this glittery yarn, which is from Through the Wardrobe Yarn Co. And I have just this white drops flora, uh, because the color work is on the, like under the cuff. I don't know what what that's called in English, that part of the foot. <laughs> but right under the cuff there's color work. So I, you're not going to walk on it. So you, I don't have any nylon, white nylon yarn, I think. So uh, I use drops flora. So here are my colors. Yeah. And I cast on late yesterday. So I'm not so far, but it's on my two and a half millimeter Chiagu needles, magic loop. And this is how far I have come and it's not so easy to see. Yeah. Uh, and I will continue. I want to only knit on these now. I really want them to wear them for Christmas. Uh, I was uh, knitting and knitting on yesterday and, and of course I did something wrong. Uh, I only have a, a printer that prints in black and white and it's a bit hard, hard words, it's a bit hard to see uh, what, what color is coming in the diagram because it's all it's all black and white so um, I even wrote down beside uh, what the colors were where but I messed it up anyway so I knitted some green here and ta-da green Santa hats the Santa hats can't be green that's not right uh, isn't it the elf to have green hats yeah, not right uh, I want the red Santa hat, so I had to rip back. So today I will knit 
that again but it wasn't a lot, uh, so many rows so that's okay but i think it will be some nice christmas socks I will answer some of your questions. Thank you so much for uh, everyone who has asked one. If there are anyone else who wants to ask a question, please uh, write it in the comments below and I will answer them in the next episode next Sunday. Uh, the first question is, um, why were you named Anne? Um, yeah, why? <laughs> My parents wanted uh, me to have a name that was uh, both like from my my dad and from my mom. So uh, I my dad's name starts with an A. Uh, so that's why I am called Anne. Um, and um, I also have a second name that I don't think I ever told you. Uh, and that is Britt. My name is Anne Britt. Uh, or Anne Britt. Very strange in uh, English. <laughs> Anne Britt. Uh, and Britt was my mother's name. So uh, me and my mother shared the same name. Uh, but uh, many people just called me Anne. So, um, and many people call me by my whole name as well, but my husband, for example, he calls me Anne. So, yeah. So, uh, that's why I'm called Anne. Anne, Anne Britt. Yeah. And uh, uh, a follow-up question to this was, is it a common name? And yes, Anne is a very common name in Norway. Uh, a lot of people has that name. It's been on the top 10 list for years, um, decades even, um, not anymore. But when I got the name, it was the most popular name. And uh, yeah, but Anne is often together with another name. There are, of course, people who are called only Anne, but many people uh, have the name together with another one, like I do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but it's a very common name. Yes, so I know many Anne's, <laughs> but that's OK. Uh, where did you meet your husband? is the next question. Uh, I met my husband. I don't know if I want to say it even. <laughs> I met him on the internet. I did. And uh, on a channel called Mirk or IRC. I'm sure some of you, if you are my age, you know what Mirk is. Uh, it was on the in the early or 99, early 2000, uh, that was like the first, or for me at least, it was the first chat place you chat, could chat with people all over the world. So I was a lot on that <laughs> channel talking to people or chatting, writing with people. And that's how I met my husband. I talked with him there. Uh, but he is from a place close to the city where I live in Kristiansand. Uh, so he knew some people I knew. And uh, yeah. And uh, then I met him. We went for a movie. <laughs> I mean, if it was my kids and I had known, I would never let them. <laughs> go out with some stranger that I met on the internet. Never. But uh, I don't even think I told my mom. No, I didn't. And I was uh, I was 18, so. so she couldn't have stopped me even if she wanted to. But um, yeah, we went to the movies. 
I didn't think he was particularly handsome. I think he was really strange, actually. Uh, but we went to the movies and a cafe or something. And uh, that was that. And uh, then I moved away. I moved pretty far away to another place in Norway. Uh, and he, we talked on the phone uh, a lot. Um, and that was really nice. I got to know him uh, really well over the phone. And uh, one Christmas when I came back home for uh, Christmas, we was uh, was a lot together and yeah the rest is history <laughs> so i uh, he became more handsome and uh, when i uh, got to know him and it was not that strange <laughs> uh, and how long have you been married is also a question and we have been married for 18 years that's a long time 18 years yeah but that's uh that's nice uh we'll, we'll be married for years to come we have it really good together so really happy for that um uh, yes over to something else what are some christmas traditions that you have with your boys and husband we don't have too many Christmas traditions as a family. Uh, one thing we do, we uh, go to, uh, we have some friends that has owns a forest. And every year we go and um, shoot down a Christmas tree <laughs> with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, so we, that's what we do. Uh, and everyone thinks it's a lot of fun. We go and pick out the tree we want and one of the boys together with their dad gets to shoot it down. And uh, yeah, so that's how our, we get our Christmas tree. Uh, and is there something else? On uh, the day before Christmas Eve, we call it uh, Little Christmas Eve. Oh. Uh, then we are at my uh, parents-in-law and um, we eat rice pudding uh, which is a tradition here in Norway everyone eats rice pudding even on uh, everyone eats rice pudding on little Christmas Eve or at Christmas Eve in the morning or not the morning but um, like around noon before church, for example. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's what we do uh, on a little Christmas Eve, eat rice pudding. And in the evening we have some very good, uh, like, uh, uh, ha not ham. I should have looked up this word. Uh, give me two seconds and I will find out what it's called. Okay. Google Translate tells me it's called cured meat. I hope that's right. You never know with Google Translate. <laughs> we eat cured um, ham and uh, salty leg of lamb and potato salad and um, some good bread. And yeah, so that's always really nice. Uh, it's so good, especially salty leg of lamb is my favorite. Yeah, so I think that's the only traditions I can think of that we do together as a family. Mm. Of course we bake and the kids come join me if they want to, but there's, it's not the tradition when my mom was alive. We always had a bake uh, day together with her uh, that, where we baked Christmas cookies for the kids. But um, after she died, we haven't kept on the tradition ourselves. And the kids are getting older and they don't want to. They don't want to join their mom when she's baking. But actually my, um, 
my 14 year old asked me yesterday if uh, we can bake something so and he said I think maybe I will join you <laughs> so probably we will start together and he will get bored and I have to do it but that's okay uh, and also a question was what dessert do you have for Christmas and the dessert we have for Christmas is uh, uh, rice or creamed rice creamed rice is um, uh, so on Christmas little Christmas Eve we eat rice pudding and the next day on Christmas Eve we take the leftovers from the uh, rice pudding and we mix in uh, cream uh, and uh, that's the dessert <laughs> together with red sauce and uh, the red sauce is made from uh, lemonade uh, red lemonade uh, yeah it's a kind of thick a thick sauce on the top of the creamed rice and it's very delicious we also we have two desserts on Christmas Eve because just because and the other one is caramel pudding and uh, homemade because that's the best so that's the two desserts we have a creamed rice and caramel pudding yeah I think that's uh, the questions I will answer today I have a few more and that I will answer next Sunday and if you have more just keep asking and I will uh, answer Thank you so much for being here with me today while well, I've been blabbering about everything. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your sweet and kind comments. And thank you for all your thumbs up. And thank you for subscribing. If you're not already doing so, please consider it. Uh, it really helps out my channel. And I hope that you have a beautiful December. Uh, take care and uh, knit on, sew on, crochet on, whatever you like to do and enjoy the month. I will go and check out how much the snow there has come because I have to go out driving today and I don't like to drive in snow. No. So maybe... <laughs> Maybe I can get my husband to drive when he comes home. I'm visiting a friend tonight, so maybe he can drive me. But anyway, I hope you are well and I will see you next Sunday. Until then, happy knitting and I will see you soon. Bye! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy